Well, hello there, ladies, gentlemen, and fellow ducks. Quack, how are we all today? I'd like to share with you my latest prediction for mankind's future. That's right. I believe you're all going to have mobile phones embedded directly into your brain. Imagine that. You'll be able to make phone calls with your mind. They'll likely chip your ears, voice box, and have a chipped lens for your eyeballs. Let's take a look at this to learn more. The future could include Bluetooth-enabled implants in your brain. Neuralink is the latest idea Elon Musk is promoting. The CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, there he is right there, says it could enable telepathy, merging with artificial intelligence, and repair motor function in people with injuries. It's a tiny chip connected to 1,000 wires, which measure one-tenth the width of a human hair. It houses a USB-C port, and that's the same adapter used by Apple's MacBooks, connects via Bluetooth to a small computer worn over the ear. It will connect to an iPhone app that the user can control, and Neuralink says up to 10 units can be placed in a patient's brain by drilling two millimeter holes in a person's skull. Elon Musk compares the procedure to LASIK eye surgery. Trials could start before the end of 2020. Katie Johnston for CBS Local News. Good evening. I can see some of you are still busy with checking the WhatsApp messages on your phones. What if I tell you, in the future, you might not even have to hold your phone in your hand to do this? If you had the choice, would you implant your smartphone into your head? Let us do a thought experiment and try to imagine what it would be like if we lived in a world where this would be possible. In that world, you could access all the functions of your phone using your thoughts. Everything that you usually see on the screen would be displayed into your visual space. Sitting here and listening to me, you can look up who was this guy called Elon Musk again, just by thinking about him. The answer? including a nice picture of Mr. Musk, would instantly be displayed in front of you. With a quick thought command, you can share what you see and hear with a friend in Hong Kong, who can participate as if he would be here with us. Or, if you happen to not like the talk at all, you can have a thought conversation with your neighbor about what you had for lunch. None of this would require any effort. It would feel as natural and intuitive as thinking is. Does that sound great? Or terrible? Or maybe not so different from what we do today? Maybe you feel like that scenario is just some wild science fiction, but I guarantee you it is not as off the grid as it might seem. Today, tech companies and scientists all around the world work on the development of technologies that cross a new frontier the frontier of our skin. It is very likely that during our lifetime, some of us are going to integrate some technological device into our heads. In the future, instead of using these kind of nasty glasses, the display could be integrated into an elegant contact lens that is implanted into the eye. Currently, Google, Samsung and Sony are working on the development of smart lenses that project images on the eye or that allow you to make photos using eye movements. Let's have a look at the second ingredient. When we use our phone in daily life, we do not only want to perceive information on it, but we want to interact with that information. We want to scroll through pages, search things in the web, send messages. To do that, we use our thumbs on the screen. Would it be possible to do the same thing using our thoughts? Well, what do you think of that? Is that quackers or what? 